Oh, come, let us worship God and bow low before the God who made us, for he is the Lord, our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. Our brothers and sisters in Christ, both here and at home, welcome. Uh, for those of you at home, please send me your guardian angels. Guardian angel at my side, go to the church for me, kneeling my place at Holy Mass where I desire to be. At offertory in my stead, take all I am and own and place it as a sacrifice upon the altar throne. At holy consecration's bell, adore Sarah's love. My Jesus hidden in the host, come down from heaven above. When the priest communion takes, oh, bring my Lord to me, that his sweet heart may rest on mine and I his temple be. Again, brothers and sisters, welcome. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father, Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the wounds of sin and division. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And Almighty God have mercy in us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care. They're relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace. They may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God called to Adam and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the true tree of which I have forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me the fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into doing it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals, from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers, he will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. To the woman he said, I will intensify the pangs of your childbearing, and pain shall you bring forth children. Yet your herbs shall be for your husband, and he shall be your master. To the man he said, Because you have listened to your wife and ate from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat, Cursed be the ground because of you, and toil shall you eat its yield all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles shall it bring forth to you as you eat of the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face shall you get bread to eat until you return to the ground from which you were taken. For you are dirt, and to dirt you shall return. The man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all the living. For the man and his wife, the Lord God made leather garments with which he clothed them. Then the Lord God said, See, the man has become like one of us, knowing what is good and what is evil. Therefore, he must not be allowed to put out his hand to take fruit from the tree of life also, and thus eat it and live forever. The Lord God therefore banished him from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from which he had been taken. When he expelled the man, he settled him east of the Garden of Eden, and he stationed the cherubim and the fiery revolving sword to guard the way to the tree of life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. Before the mountains were begotten and the earth and the world were brought forth, 
from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn back man to dust, saying, Return, O oh children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, and as a watch or a, as a watch of the night. And every day, day O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. You make an end of them in their sleep, and the next morning they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs anew, but by evening wilts and fades. And every day, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days when there again was a great crowd without anything to eat, Jesus summoned the disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd, because they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry to their homes, they will collapse on the way. And some of them have come a great distance. His disciples answered him, Where can anyone get enough bread to satisfy them here in this deserted place? Still he asked them, How many loaves do you have? They replied, Seven. He ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then taking the seven loaves, he gave thanks, broke them, and gave them to his disciples to distribute, and distributed them to the crowd. They all said, A few fish. He said the blessing over them and ordered them distributed also. They ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over, seven baskets. There were about 4,000 people. He dismissed the crowd and got into the boat with his disciples and came to the region of Dalmanutha. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I remember vividly, I must have been five or six, I don't remember exactly the age, but right in that frame. Uh, an aunt of mine had, uh, had a beautiful swimming pool. I used to love swimming and had very, very, very few opportunities to actually do so. Uh, so at one point in time, another aunt of mine uh, was able to use her house and I was, for whatever reason, free to be able to go swimming. Uh, and so we both went over together. Uh, it was an amazing time, uh, right up until the point where we're both at the pool and she's like, oh, hold on a second, I have to go inside for a few minutes, but you wait here and do not go into that pool, whatever you do, or it will be over for you. And yeah, you know what happened next? Two seconds later, I'm like, man, that water was so nice. I wanted to sleep at night, I sort of put my toes in it, and I started getting a little bit further into it. And I was probably up to my knees in the water, and she came up and said, you, out. <laughs> and I'm like, no. And so I had a big hissy fit, one of the few I remember in my life, uh, deservedly so. The reality is that very much so, as adults, we can see what, what, when we tell kids not to do something, why you say that. So if we take one step back and realize that God is doing the same thing for Adam and Eve, you were forbidden to eat of this tree, it's, it's a, not so much about the tree as much it is about the obedience to God. And so God had to test us. God had to give us the opportunity to, to either follow him or not. He actually gave the same opportunity to the spirits uh, who decided we're not following you. That's where the story of Satan comes in. That's why he's here, uh, to corrupt us or to invite us into corruption. He can't make us do anything. That's the beauty of the situation. Uh, it's all in us, although he can invite us into something we shouldn't be doing. So for Adam and Eve, what we see is two foods, actually, between Genesis again and the Gospel. The two foods, you ask, well, one is the fruit. We don't know what kind, although it's easy for people to have the image of the apple. I mean, an apple is a, really one of the perfect fruits, you know. You eat it, it tastes great, um, uh, and you don't have to, like, cut into it too much. You need its skin and all. It's great. Uh, nonetheless, uh, it's not about the apple. It's about the obedience to God or not, um, and that's the encouragement. That's what he invites us into. But we see him moving into the New Testament, and Jesus Christ is deliberately inviting people to eat this food, the bread of life. Uh, it is the Eucharist. It is for us. He invites us, though. He invites us to come into a relationship with him. It's into communion with him. 
That's the point. Uh, the point is for us to be in communion with God, but we have a deliberate choice to make. Either we do or we don't. And the choice is always ours. It's interesting on that side. He keeps inviting us in. Sometimes, uh, uh, sometimes we choose it, sometimes we don't. Uh, but, but the Lord never stops in the invitation on that side. We see it with the food, the bread. Uh, for the 4,000 we fed with seven loaves on seven baskets of food left over. Uh, meaning that the Lord always gives us plenty. Not always necessarily physical food, by the way, but always plenty of, uh, of the spiritual food and nourishment that we need inside to know his love, to remember his love for us always. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us now look to bring intentions to our work. For the intentions of Pope Francis, for everything our church is doing for the salvation of all souls, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord be Lord. Lord. For, him. for today's Mass intention for Saturday, February the 13th, for Anthony Santani, for his family, anybody that's missing him in this world, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord, Lord. Be Lord. For, him. for the next group of people in the Mass intention hotline, for Rebecca Kennedy, Ed Reeder, Jordan Bates, the trainers, the Jensen's, the Reagan's, Cindy Clarkson, and Andrew and Marlene. Uh, for these people, for everybody else in our prayer and attention hotline, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That the sick may find nourishment in the company of those who travel with Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And that the legislators may safeguard the treasures of faith from misuse and pursuit of wealth or power, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And what else should we pray for this now? Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For special intentions and in thanksgiving, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all those suffering with the coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Hear our prayers, God of our journey, and move our hearts with your compassion. Sustained by the food from this table, we may may we in turn nourish those you have given to our care. We ask you to grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For it is the vine and work of human hands who will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the Church. O oh Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant we pray that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created mankind, and when we were justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed us through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth, earth full of your glory, glory. Well, the Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the well, Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving things, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Mary Magdalene, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. It is not a temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace, peace, peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Try us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. If you at home, please join me in active spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen indeed. Let us pray. O oh God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice. Grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Say, Michael, Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. In battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him when we humbly pray, and do thou, the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the world's souls. Amen. God bless you all. Have a great day. Uh, enjoy. Be careful. Have a great weekend as well. Thank you.